The 500L is the right formula in the world of multi-purpose vehicles because it is capable of expressing something new, something never seen before. In the 500L, design becomes service above and beyond the manufactured product. To create the 500L, we concentrated on the relationship with the environment where the car would live. First of all, the people. We knew how to speak to a heterogeneous cross-section of the public, people with complex lives and a broad range of interests, the expressions of many different lifestyles. People who, before the 500L, would never have considered the same automobile. In fact, even consumers are changing. Maybe the crisis has speeded up this process, but today, no one asks how much a car does, like they once would have. Today, people ask, what does this car do, and how does it do it? The 500L is a noble expression of the DNA and past of the brand. Our family album is full of products united by an attitude toward invention. This thread starts with the Topolino and its two-seat cabin made possible by the engine mounted over the front wheels and a sedan chassis. On the 500 from 1957, the machinery became more compact, expanding the cabin with respect to the footprint. Then, your excellency arrived, the 600 multipla, actually your efficiency, the car where everything shows versatility of use. The same for the 500 Giardiniera, the smallest station wagon ever built. A specific engine was designed that would leave the luggage compartment intact. Today, the story continues with the 500L. Once again, the concept of space efficiency is expressed through invention. The roominess available on board the 500L is the result of precise choices. The extremely short nose with the windshield shifted forward as much as possible. The ring-shaped window glass supported by a series of pillars giving maximum transparency. The 500L is a car with a free architectural concept. We like to call this an open source project, since it manages to combine new and different experiences into a persuasive idea of transportation. Ample visual angles for driver and passengers. Raised driver position. Maximum extension of the wheelbase and carriage. Reduced space in the engine well. Optimum exploitation of available space at the height of the shoulders, head and roof. This architectural configuration recalls the principles of Le Corbusier. We rediscover the concept of a seamless view in the glazing belt that runs all around the 500L. The roof garden in the possibility of a great transparent opening overhead. And the free facade in the formal balance of the surfaces. The 500L stands out not only in available space, but above all in the intelligent organization of its parts. Its X-ray shows the presence of many cubby holes and compartments. Seats that can be arranged and rearranged in many ways. A dashboard put into order by following a concept of the naturalness of an action. Everything is right where it should be, naturally. The body design avoids angles and straight lines, giving preference to softer shapes that transmit a natural charm. This shows the 500L has the chromosomes of the 500 Berlina. But there, the comparison ends. We did not want simply to enlarge the 500, but create a car with its own clear personality. The consistency of the exterior finish, the luminosity achieved by a line of regular progressing rings, and the thinner, split windshield mounts to increase visuals, are all signs that give the 500L a new and original identity. The 500L is the car of the future because it synthesizes and surpasses the advantages of the multi-purpose car. This car has a day-to-day -day livability and helps its owners become more organized and improve their lives. The trends toward the minivan, eliminating overhangs, giving priority to efficient usability, are the cornerstones of the car of the future. For Fiat, the future is already here.